Yo. What up? All right. Um. So, uh, we got episode three of the Ricky Gervais Show. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The Ricky Gervais Show. Yes, and this is Charity. 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 All right, man. Episode three. Yes. Yeah, man. It's funny shit. Yeah. Ready. Let's go, man. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. HBO Entertainment. Home box office. Look that up. <laughs> For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Steve Merchant, very tall, and Carl yeah. Pilkington yeah. have been meeting <laughs> regularly. Yeah. For a series of pointless conversations, yes. this is one of them. Testing. Is that all right? Hello, and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show. With me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. All right. All right. <laughs> Do you know the other week when uh, I came up with, like... A different idea of how we can sort of make the world run and that. Can we what? just have a quick recap of that? Because I seem to remember it was a load of old arts. It was, but... it was ridiculous. It was, um, he was saying that the, 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 the world is overpopulated, so the system would be where people were living too long and stuff. So what happens is people live till 78. I don't know how you can enforce that, right? No. But when they die, they've got a little baby in yeah, their stomach, right. like a pig in an apple, <laughs> yeah. that then carries on when they oh, die. Right. It, it wasn't a theory. It wasn't an idea. Yeah. It was the ramblings of a but mental you, you case. You're saying it's stupid, but someone's emailed yeah. in and said, oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Just saying, if, if, if that's a no, right, I've been thinking it about... It is a no. What about if we do it the other way, right? Ah, oh, go on. Somehow, I don't know how A yet. kid has an old lady? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what it's going to be, isn't it? A uh, child that gives birth to an old man. No. Hey. What I'm saying is, right... Go on. ..work the other way round. Come on, then. So if, if somehow we can inject something... In, in like, a, a body that's just died, right? Listen to this. Imagine, this, but well, look, imagine this is notes. <laughs> so when, they ha when he hands it into the Nobel people, yeah. and they go, if there's a way that we can inject something, they go, well, what? Well, I don't know the chemical formula, but something. Something HO2. Right. So, anyway, so you inject it mm. in the temple. Um, <laughs> He's narrowed it down to the temple. So what happens? Yeah, what? She sort of wakes up, Amazing. right? And she works the other way. So, like, she might be 77. Yep. And then she'll have a birthday, she's 76. And she's working that way. Right. If you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, keep Because, because the thing is, you've got... <laughs> I just don't... I, no, I'm I really scared. <laughs> yeah. I'm really scared. This is the maddest thing you've ever said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is madder than the old lady with the pit uh, like an apple in her belly. It sort of did work. This is... <laughs> yeah, it what? didn't work. It worked in your head. It's like a dream that you wake up and go, oh, I've got a great theory. And this it's is like... what... This is it. Let me just tell you the, the ending, because the ending works out a bit better. Go on. What I'm saying is, when you die... Mm. ..at the age of... 78. ..nine months... What? At the age of nine months, because that's when you come out. What do you mean when you die at the age of nine months? You're not months? scared of dying because you're now a baby, so you don't know what's going on anyway. So there's no. Fear. So we missed out a bit here. So this woman, what, literally gets younger and younger? I think yeah. when she's in her twenties, she's in her old age, Rick. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because that's the that's the fun part of your life, isn't it? <laughs> when you're twenty and you've got all your energy and that. So before you die, you're actually having a good life, rather than it being the other way around. But does she do different stuff to, to, than, than she did uh, on the way up? Because she's already lived 78 years, <laughs> hasn't she? Don't forget. She was a baby once, <laughs> and she grew to 70 years, then someone, then one stopped, someone stuck a needle in her head and said, right, back you go. <laughs> no, we'll forget all that bit. Well, I'll forget all that bit. How do we forget that bit? What I'm saying so is... So she died and she doesn't remember all her... All her this is a new life, is it? Let she's... me just leave you with this. Right, you're talking shit. Explain yourself. I but aren't the family I getting younger? Is, what's happened to the family? Forget I mean, I it, don't... then. We'll leave it as it is. No, we'll leave it as it is, shall we? <laughs> shall we? Can we all agree on that, guys? No. <laughs> should, we, should we agree to leave it as it is? Is that all right? Yeah, Cause... leave it as it is. I don't want to hear any more <laughs> from the diaries of Charles Manson. <laughs> no, it's... it's look, I mean, you're a fucking maniac. Uh, Leave a friend it of mine it got a gift, um, or rather gave it as a gift. I don't know if you've been familiar with these. Uh, it's a charity organisation, and you go on their website or you, you know, phone them up, and you can give someone else the gift of, say, a goat. 
And it's a sort of goodwill thing, you know what I mean? So you buy, you buy an African family uh, a goat... That will help uh, them for years And it's, it's like you're saying, well, I would have bought you a present. Yeah. But, but I've that, used that money wisely. Yeah, so it's almost like they've given <laughs> exactly. the present. They've given the, 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 the goat. Yeah, it's a beautiful idea. But I, as soon as he told me about it, I thought to myself straight away, knowing Carl's views on charity and giving, yeah. what, I wondered what his views would be. Well, are, they, are they happy with the present over there? Like the people who are getting it? You, you're an idiot. What, you think <laughs> an African family uh, wakes up and there's a little goat with a ribbon tied round it and they go, oh, look what Santa brought us. Look, and that mince pie's gone on that glass of milk. You're such an <laughs> idiot. No, no, but what I'm saying is... Does does that fa- does that family want a goat? Yes. But, well, but why? It's when not they like want a goat. It's they need a goat. Do you think? What right, do you think this organisation is? <laughs> not, not oh, just arbitrarily gonna, giving goats to me. They're going to say, "Oh, I wanted Nintendo." <laughs> what are you? What are you thinking? But what I'm saying is, right. Let me put myself in in their shoes. Well, this will be a first. Got any, but but say 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 I'm 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 one of them. Right over there. Right. I'm sat there. It's Christmas Day. Right. I open it up. Open the present. Little goat there. Right? Now, if I was one of them, I'd be going, not another mouth to feed. <laughs> At the end of the day, there isn't enough food to go around for themselves, never mind a goat. <laughs> Don't they say, like, having a, having a dog and that is quite expensive? They sometimes they yeah. say, you know, what with all the injections you've got to give it. Uh, well, I'm assuming yeah, it's, it's all above board. The goat's had its injections. That's what some of the money goes towards. Uh, it's just a way of redirecting... Cash. But, but the thing is, why do they want that goat? What's the main reason? <laughs> to, what, What's who? the main... What does a goat give you? Milk. milk. Right. Now, wouldn't it be easy to, to just send them a bottle of milk? <laughs> 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 Without all the hassle and the headaches that come with it. That's all I'm saying. And the other thing is, think about the goat. That was happy over here. Suddenly, it's on barren land. <laughs> no grass. <laughs> I'm going to burst! He's <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'm saying, who's happy at the end of this, right? <gasps> You've got a fella who hasn't got a present over here because the mate bought him a goat, right? So, so, so yeah, let's do, this, let's do this properly. So there's a tick. He's not happy, right? <laughs> Then you've got the person who's opened it, who, like you said, wanted something else, right? It's a goat. They go, who's going to look after this, right? So tick, they're not happy. And then you've got the goat going, what am I doing here? <laughs> He's right. <laughs> He's right. No Definitely love this, surely. Have you started seeing this now? Virgin are starting plugging Virgin Galactic. I think it's something like mm. 200,000 quid, mm. and they, you'll get a chance to go in a space shuttle into mm. space. Carl, thoughts? Go into space. Wouldn't it be a fascinating experience to go into space I wouldn't and go. look back it's at the end? I mean, what, at what point are you all meant to be happy? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're floating about up there. And you, because you don't get out, do you? Uh, what you mean to do some duty-free shopping? I'm just talking. You don't go floating <laughs> about, do you? You stay in your seat. Mm. Well, they probably let you move around on the shuttle. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about getting out. For me, when you what, go you on holiday... you want to get out into space? Yes, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> when you go on holiday, the flight bit isn't the best bit of the holiday, is it? That's the bit you've got to do. So what I'm saying is you've got to stay on this and then you go back home. So you don't take luggage, right? I don't see the point. Right, so you're there, you're sat in your own clothes for the whole time, same clothes the whole time. <laughs> but I don't understand what, what, what is the point. I think it's, the view, I think it's two things. I think it's the view mm. and being able to be part of an exclusive club. I went into space. Uh, it's, it's all that thing about man conquering nature and, and you're one of that elite few that have managed to pop up, <laughs> see the world from a distance that no-one else can see it from yeah. and then pop down. All that way just for the view? I yeah. That. Is it worth it? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of other places I haven't seen anyway, right, before I think about that. I think if you've done everywhere... I haven't been to Scotland yet, right? <laughs> right, yeah. I'm not being funny, but do you know what I mean? So, just have a look in your back garden before you go looking in someone else's. In space? Yeah. yeah. What would make it a, a trip worthwhile for you? I mean, if you did go into space, if we gave it to you free of charge, we said, Carl, go up I know space. the answer. I know the answer to this, Steve. He's thinking, I'd like to meet some aliens that can talk <laughs> like I do, yeah. and I can understand them, and they can tell me something. Like, like what? Oh, they met God, he was all right. That, that's the sort of thing, that's what he's going to say. He'd like them to look like monkeys in spacesuits. Yeah. That would be his ideal thing. He'd like to go to the planet of the he apes. Say, yeah, he would love to go to the... Look, he's nodding. He's yeah. nodding. <laughs> Thoughts, Carl? 
Well, yeah, that, that'd be brilliant. What would be brilliant? Seeing a little alien and having a chat with him, finding out what's been going on. <laughs> <laughs> what's been yeah. going on? No, no. But, <gasps> but don't you think that... Like, I mean, <laughs> if you bought me that as a present, right, yeah. either of you, yeah. I wouldn't be that happy. For me, that's a little bit like... Well, this is annoying because we've got you a trip to space and together. a goat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we... <laughs> Do you know how, like, I'm, I'm sort of, I am interested in sort of going on another planet, right? Not... Go, you are on another planet, mate. No, no, but do you know what I mean? It, <laughs> it would be quite sort of interesting. How do you think you'd get there? Well, yeah, you'd go on a rocket and stuff, but what I'm saying is at least you know when you get there, you're getting out, you're having a bit of a wonder. <laughs> But I wouldn't be happy in just the journey bit of it. That's that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's great, isn't it? But, but the thing is, right? I was because I was looking into it a bit because I was reading about the the Virgin uh, yeah. thing, right? and I was reading something that in uh, in 1971, right? Three of them went up there. There was one bloke in the rocket, right? The other two wandered off, had a had a walk about, seeing what rocks they can find, like that. and that bloke who was in the rocket. Right. He was the loneliest man ever in the world. I don't know what to do. I don't know if that's some sort of profound poetry or I don't I, <laughs> I, I do, not, do you know what I think he's trying yeah. to say? He's trying to say he was by definition uh a human furthest away from all other human contact. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I said. Yeah, OK. Oh, okay. Now you know you said loneliest. <laughs> loneliest evokes an emotion. Yeah. yeah. But... It's like he started crying and writing poetry and listening to uh, <laughs> Morrissey records. But what I was thinking is, do you think when he got up in the morning, um... he still bothered to put his clothes on? <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing that came into your mind. No, when just you because I always, there. you know, at the end of the day, even if, like, my girlfriend Suzanne's out at work and that, I'm not happy walking about with everything out because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just mean, you know, you never know yeah. someone's going to turn up. No, I don't like what I don't like. No, I, I, I always pop some pants on or a towel, <laughs> even if I'm not alone. always. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Because yeah. because I've knocked on your door when you've when you've been stood there with. No, no he's yeah, taking his trousers off. No, I did it especially oh, knowing, yeah, knowing right. that you were there. I've done it especially to annoy you. Oh, right. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Do you think he? Do you think he was walking about the rocket with his tackle out, or, or did he go? Away. Well, you know, no one's watching here. You do you reckon I mean? it floats up or down? Well, um, if you uh, are the man who was up in a space rocket and was for a short period the loneliest man in the world, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear what you did with your time, um, how lonely you felt, and also, lonely. did you did you float around um, with your cock and balls out? <laughs> Carl, if you could have a superpower, like Superman, what would your superpower be? Can I suggest consciousness? <laughs> yeah. Can I have the power of thought? Remember, you've already got opposable thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, cross that one off the list. Oh, go on, Carl. There are so many to choose from. Telepathy, X-ray vision. Flight. Invisibility. Flight. Choose it wisely. Strength. <laughs> Intelligence. But, but why have I been picked? <laughs> oh, for <laughs> God's sake! No, no, but I'm just saying... It's say, Rob's question no, for no, you. But I'd just say, does anyone else want this? Or... Do you know what I mean? Oh, no. what because, do you wish you no, could do that's no, impossible, because, is the question? No, because, or... Uh, uh, out of, what? Because, what do you mean? Because with that comes a responsibility. Is what <laughs> with I'm enormous saying. power does come great responsibility. So, would it... W well, would you like spidey senses? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Come on, Carl, you know what these superheroes because they can they can I know, but it always they, they're, things, they're never they... happy, are they? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Spider Man that wanted to tell that girl that he had he could climb walls and that, he's like, I can't. Superman never told Lewis and that. Who's <laughs> Lewis? Who's Lewis? Who's Lewis? Lewis. Lewis. Yeah. Ah. Just a pen pal of Superman's. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, his little secret yeah, job. Yeah. yeah. All right, Superman. Uh, Hello, Lewis. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Superman. Uh, uh, who are you? I can't tell you, Lewis. Yeah. Brilliant. You know, Hulk. He wasn't happy. <laughs> Hulk. He wasn't happy. <laughs> it's true. He's got a theme. He has got a theme. There's not many happy superheroes, are but there? Leaving aside the superheroes you're already aware of. Yeah. What superpowers do you want? You don't have to fight crime with it, Carl. <laughs> just let me just remind you of some of the other things. Invisibility. All the time, though, or can I sort of turn that on and off? Let's say you could turn it on and off. Would that interest you? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. 
<laughs> right. OK, and what would you do with this power of invisibility? Yeah. <laughs> just sort of wander about, and not, just not get seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brilliant power! It's a brilliant... And, and, why... it's, put, and it's put to such <laughs> brilliant, brilliant use. <laughs> it's really well done! And why, <laughs> why would you want to walk around and not be seen in that? Uh, what would you gain from that? I don't know, you could sort of <laughs> go, in, go in shops when they're shut. So you don't have to go. How would you get in? Just get in just before they lock up. <laughs> oh yeah. And How would you get you out? Wait till the morning. <laughs> Brilliant. So, hang on. So that's your use of invisibility. Yeah. So you found the power of invisibility. You want to sneak oh, into. No, no, wait. no, hang on. Let's just. You want to sneak into HMV, right? Wait for twelve hours <laughs> and then buy something. <laughs> I love it. Just so that you don't have to be in there with other people. Do you know what? <laughs> I don't want it. I don't, I don't want a power. Why not? Because I, I just don't think it'll do me any good. <laughs> I think it's more of a hindrance. <laughs> I love uh, this! Shit. It's like, just think of these presents. We've given you a go, a trip into space, and the chance to be invisible. <sighs> not happy with any of them. Yeah, he, what he wants is a voucher for HMV. Yeah, 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 he just wants some tokens for a record shop. Uh. Just going through a few more of these uh, emails. This one's from uh, Kent from Nova Scotia, Canada. He says, uh, Carl, um, he was, he's wondering if you've got any personal mantras that you could pass along. Uh, for instance, he, he um, reminds us of Ben Franklin's famous uh, mantra, waste not, want not. Who, who said that? Ben Franklin. <laughs> what was he, what did he do? What was his <laughs> job? Benjamin Franklin was a, a well-respected American politician from the 1800s. He was it, a, a he sort of thinker, it, a philosopher, a, a scientist, deeply yeah. respected. Um, and he's also on a money. big political figure. He features on he's the on a dollar bill or the ten dollar yeah. bill or something. Yeah. So he's you know, he's one of the great um, sort of American Enlightenment thinkers, right. and he came up with the mantra "waste not, want not." You must know "waste not, want not." I mean, that's just. <laughs> Do you understand I'll, the phrase "waste not, want not"? Uh, no, not really. No. What, what does it mean? I've never used it. It's yeah. like, uh, don't throw stuff away because you might need it, and therefore. You, you won't be wanting anything because you didn't throw it away. So he was a bit of a well, hoarder. If you don't waste food, for instance, then <laughs> you will... He was a bit of a hoarder! <laughs> <laughs> for God's sake! No, no, but I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> yeah. he, he's a man in power. Is that the best thing he, he ever said? No, I'm sure he came up with many, many profound things. So why things. is that one He remembered? did experiments in electricity and conducting electricity, all sorts. But, but... That's, that impresses me more. Invent electricity than someone... He didn't just... invent electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! Don't impress you more than what? Uh, just, just, just saying, uh, well, it's not want not. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's that good. It's not even catchy. Uh, yeah. How would you word it? I'd just say, whoa, whoa, don't, don't be chucking that out. You might need that later. <laughs> <laughs> be chucking that out. You might need that later. Carl Pilkington. Whereas some would argue five. that waste not want not is, is perhaps a little bit more pithy, a little bit we more. We should go through great say, sayings and phrases and, and say, if he could, well, firstly, yeah. does he know what they mean? And then, secondly, can he improve them? That would be brilliant. We'll, we'll, we'll make another one do that next week. time. Yeah. Oh, right, so, uh, <laughs> um, oh, let's see. Okay, uh, Winston Churchill. Um, never have so few done so much for so many. What do you think of that? How would you. Do you know what that means? I'd just be annoyed if I was one of them who, who gave a lot. For a few or whatever, right? No, gave a lot for so many. <laughs> you were, yeah, if you were well, one of those few yeah, that I... gave so much for so many, i.e., it means the, these these few good men, their actions freed the world. They freed the world. They have an impact on yeah. the, every person in the world, and they Brilliant. they were few yeah. brave men. Yeah, and that's yeah. what he's saying. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if I was one of them men who who gave up his life, right? I'd want a name check. I don't, I don't want to be bungled in with everyone else who is saying a load of blokes gave it their lives. Well done on that. See you later. <laughs> That's yeah. brilliant. Did you just say bungled in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bungled in, yeah. You made up a word! Did you want to be bungled in? You made up a word. See, that's it, you see? We've been looking for it. That's original. That's Carl Pilkington. I don't want to be bungled in. <laughs> it's bungled the word. Right, do you know we've we've chatted about... Uh, charities before, haven't we? Sure, yeah. Done a lot of stuff on that, right? It's coming back from Manchester, right? Got off the train, Houston. Yeah. Right? Got off the train, walking through the, the, the busy bit and stuff. So this fella stood there, right? A charity worker. Yeah. Right? He, he, nice looking fella, he's got his suit on, the tie and everything, quite respectable and that, right? Look down at his bucket, all the, all the money's been put in the bucket and that, yeah. right? On the front of the bucket, right? 
He says collecting for the homeless at Christmas. Now, why can't they do that? <laughs> what, the homeless? The, the homeless people. <laughs> why is some fella taking his time out, right, his own time where he could be at home, why, why, <laughs> some of us have got homes to go to. Yeah. Why, why, do you know what I mean? What, what do you think? Just give them the buckets. Well, what are the homeless people doing whilst he's doing that? Is what, I'm saying. What, what have they got on the timetable? Cut what out the middleman. Cut out the middleman. Uh, what would prevent a homeless person, an, an entrepreneurial or homeless person, just getting a bucket and writing yeah. that on there themselves? Could I suggest something? Um, hunger, uh, some drug addiction, <laughs> uh, traumas, often mental illness. Um, just possibly too too depressed to get up, put a suit on, and go to Houston Station with a nice bucket with some writing on it. And then, right, I was thinking thinking about that, right, and I was walking down walking down the street in London with Suzanne. Saw Suzanne. a little homeless. Well, I didn't see the homeless bloke, right? I saw a leg, right, right sticking out of a doorway. <laughs> but here we go. Right, walk past it. Right, you're not going to believe this. Go on. Homeless. Yeah. Chinese fella. I've never seen one of them. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not having a go, right? Well, have you ever seen... Uh, do you know what I mean? That, that was a shock I really me. don't think I have. I think he's got me there. I, I, I hate to say it, but I must say, I can't remember ever seeing a homeless uh, Chinese person. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> no, I what, what did you say? I was at what, what pass and I said to Suzanne, did you see that? She went, what? I said, just look back there. She said, what? I said, that homeless fella, look back at him. She said, what? She's Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said, yeah, good point. Good point. Of course she did. She, she said that to shut you she up. She didn't yeah. want to get into a conversation <laughs> with you. Oh, man. Uh, OK. Yeah. yeah, man. So, yeah, we've seen that monkey news before. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. We did. It did not happen, I don't think. <laughs> the, I think it. I think somebody like commented in the monkey news we did that yeah. it actually, it yeah. did happen. Yeah. Like a monkey, was presenting the news. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, man. But yeah, yeah I wonder if there's footage of it. That's what I want to know. <laughs> I want to see that. Yeah. I don't think we'll share though. I don't think he gave the share. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Come yeah. on now. Yeah, man. Funny episode, man. You talking about the age? Funny. Going back, going starting from a baby and going to seventy six, and then going from seventy six back down to a baby. You're living two lives. So if you live, <laughs> that's like seventy six times seventy six. That's one hundred and fifty two. <coughs> what the heck? Yeah. Seventy six times two. That's one hundred and fifty two. You live in one hundred and fifty two years. Can't do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. He said. I wouldn't go to space if, if, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just had Richard Branson, I think his name is, go to space for Virgin. Uh, he just flew, like, the first, I think, uh, was it commercial? Yeah. Or I did, I think. To space or something? You know, you're exactly right. I think Kevin Hart was supposed to go, but he turned it down. And uh, he said it was too much to risk, or it just wasn't the right time. They were going to give him, like, a little show. No. Go out there and, Why yeah. risk that? Yeah. Why yeah. risk that? Yeah. And then Jeff Bezos, like a couple months later, went to space. But he like really went to space. He got like on a rocket. I would go. I mean, I think I would do it. But it'd be like a tour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I, I think I'd do it. You know Which one? Okay, so I don't know. You would uh, get on yeah. a rocket. I mean, that's a, that's the only way you can get there. I think. Right? No, Richard Bronson. He he uh, went like on a plane. Yeah, yeah. Wherever it would be at, yeah, in outer space, whatever would get me there Which safely, one? I would do it. In a rocket, like um, I mean, to another planet. <clears throat> So, but like Carl said, like, you wouldn't be doing anything. You would just be in space. <laughs> yeah. You know just saying? floating. He'd want to get out. <laughs> yeah, I'd want to do space something. walk or something. You know Some activities I mean? or something. Yeah. Yeah, they need to build like a, like an amusement park on the moon or something before I go to space. <laughs> There's no reason just to be up there and yeah. then you're floating around waiting for a <laughs> meteor to hit you or a little rock to hit you. No, he's going up there looking... Looking down. Have you ever seen Gravity? Maybe round. Yeah, the movie Gravity? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just scary, man. Uh, Space is scary. <laughs> imagine it can be. What if it's really space. like that? Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably pretty close. Hmm. <laughs> I think. Yeah, man. Yeah, Radio yeah. Ray Show. Funny episode. It's very funny. <laughs>